Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. His Royal Highness praised the honourable role of the BDF affiliates in assuming their national responsibility and praised their efforts in maintaining the national gains and achieving the aspirations of His Majesty the King to enhance the security and stability of the kingdom. In response, His Majesty sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness and congratulated the BDF affiliates on the occasion. His Majesty affirmed that the BDF will remain a strong pillar of the kingdom. His Majesty appreciated the role and the support of His Royal Highness in contributing to the achievements of the BDF. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed hailed the support of His Majesty the King to the BDF, which contributes to its development, making it a source of pride. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable to the National Guard Commander in which he expressed thanks for the congratulations. His Majesty asserted his pride in the achievements of the BDF and the National Guard, as well as all security forces in the kingdom, expressing his his appreciation for His Highness's role in serving the kingdom and protecting its national gains. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed underlined the role of the BDF in preserving Bahrain's achievements, hailing the support of His Majesty the King to the BDF, which contributed to its development, making it a source of pride. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa underlined the role of the BDF in preserving Bahrain's achievements, hailing the support of His Majesty the King to the BDF, which contributed to its development, making it a source of pride. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. Sheikh Khalid underlined the role of the BDF in preserving Bahrain's achievements, hailing the support of His Majesty the King to the BDF, which contributed to its development, making it a source of pride. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. The BDF Commander in Chief hailed the directives of His Majesty the King and his continuous support, which contributed to developing the BDF, its combat readiness and military discipline, as well as its reputation, which is a source of pride. He affirmed that the BDF personnel reiterated their allegiance to His Majesty the King to exert further efforts and sacrifices for the kingdom. In response, His Majesty sent the Commander-in-Chief a cable in which he expressed his appreciation to the BDF and its members for their congratulations on the occasion. His Majesty asserted that the BDF will remain strong with its competent members, expressing his appreciation for their efforts and sacrifices. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. The Commander of the National Guard praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's unwavering support to the BDF, which has contributed to strengthening its combat readiness and military competence. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent a cable of thanks to the Commander of the National Guard and extended his gratitude to him and the National Guard's affiliates for their honorable efforts in enhancing the national. National Guard's combat readiness and their dedicated services. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. The Commander of the National Guard praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's unwavering support to the BDF, which he contributed to strengthening its combat readiness and military competence. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent a cable of thanks to the Commander of the National Guard and extended his gratitude to him and the National Guard's affiliates for their honorable efforts to enhance the National Guard's combat readiness and their dedicated services. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and the Prime Minister received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa noted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's support to the BDF, which has contributed to strengthening its combat readiness and military competence. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister received a similar cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. Sheikh Khalid praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's unwavering support to the BDF, which has contributed to strengthening its combat readiness and military competence. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister received a similar cable of congratulations from the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the BDF. He praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's unwavering support to the BDF, which has contributed to strengthening its combat readiness and military competence. Marking World Cancer Day, representatives of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa participated in the Solidarity Cycling Challenge, which was held using virtual technology as part of the initiative to support cancer patients. With the participation of the Bahrain Victorious Team Cycle, Mike Landa, and a group of riders from different countries of the world. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad stressed that the humanitarian initiatives and their connection with various sports indicate the importance of the role of sports in harnessing it for the sake of humanitarian work, emphasizing that sports is not limited to competition, but it carries noble content, meanings, and values to our society and contributes to supporting global initiatives aimed at achieving health, safety, and treatment of all diseases. His Highness expressed his pride to participate in this great challenge, which aims to support humanitarian work and fight cancer, in addition to supporting the efforts of the United Nations and international associations concerned with fighting cancer and helping the global community to overcome these health challenges. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad added that the Solidarity Cycling Challenge is one of the most prominent support sporting events on the global level to support international associations aiming to increase the awareness about the dangers of cancer, collecting donations to help and fight cancer patients, and work to form a global sports allegiance or alliance that contributes to supporting initiatives in order to combat this disease. His Highness Sheikh Nasser, His Sheikh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad stated the participation of the Bahrain victorious team representing an initiative from the Kingdom of Bahrain to uphold the values of noble sport and its relationship with humanitarian and charitable work. His Highness added that chronic diseases have become widespread in the global community and confronting them requires solutions and cooperation from the sports sector. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes what was stated in the speech of the U.S. President Joe Biden regarding the commitment of the United States of America to cooperate with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to defend its sovereignty and address the threats against it. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomes the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States affirmation of the importance of support and diplomatic efforts to resolve the Yemeni crisis, including the efforts of the UN envoy Martin Griffiths, and welcomes the appointment of Tim Lenderking as the U.S. envoy to Yemen due to his experience and knowledge of Yemeni and regional affairs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs also commended the important steps taken by Saudi Arabia to enhance enhance the chances of reaching a political solution to the Yemeni crisis based on the approved international references noting the kingdom's efforts to strengthen efforts aimed at establishing peace and security in the Middle East in cooperation with the United States of America. Marking the occasion of the establishment of the Bahrain Defense Force, we are joined by Shura Council member Ms. Nancy Khuduri, who is member of the Council's Committee for Foreign Defense and National Security Affairs. Hello, Ms. Nancy. What can you tell us on this occasion? On the occasion of the 53rd anniversary of the establishment of the Bahrain Defence Force, I take the opportunity to congratulate His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Bahrain Defence Force, as well as His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Supreme Commander and our Prime Minister, along with the 
BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and the entire personnel at the Bahrain Defence Force uh, for their unwavering uh, commitment and determination to always defend and protect our kingdom uh, with patriotism and with competence. And uh, we continue to pray that the Bahrain Defence Force will continue to remain the strong arm of our kingdom's protective shield and always armed with not just the highest quality of weapons and equipment to discharge its duty, but also the courage and dutiful patriotism of its people to answer to the call of duty. Thank you, Ms. Nancy. That was the Shura Council Member Ms. Nancy Khuduri speaking to us about the BDF anniversary and its achievements. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that the total number of individuals who have taken the vaccine has reached more than 178,000. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 5,180, with 412 recoveries and 704 registered new cases. 317 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 372 are contacts of active cases, and 15 are travel-related. The Ministry announced that the, de the death of a 73-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.